It is a good day. It's a brand new year and you are getting more and more comfortable using Fusion 360. Then suddenly you hear there's a rumor of a new interface coming to Fusion and panic? Don't worry about it. Let's take a look. Hi everyone and welcome to season 2 of these Fusion 360 videos. This is not a live stream, but it is an attempt to answer your questions. So, down in the description area of this video, you will find my email address, lars.christensen at autodesk.com and I will do my best to answer your questions. So keep on sending, sending those in. Also, if you are into uh, live streams, my good friend and colleague, Brad Tallis, better looking and no fusion better than I do. He does two live streams a week on his channel. Link in my description down below. So go and check that out. Click on, on his channel, go and check it out. Thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. Give him some love. He's doing, he's doing great, great work. Today's topic is the new UI. Thanks to Lanny for sending me an email and be like, could I just talk a little bit about that? And I will, and don't worry too much about it. I think you're gonna see just in a second that this is gonna be this is going to be okay, friends. So this is what you should see today as I am recording this video. If you're already seeing the new interface, it looks a little bit different than, uh, well, then you already got it, but it's, but it's good. Um, but this is what we see right now. It is in preview, so you can go and check it out if you want to. So if I move over to my name and go to preferences, you will see that you have a preview section over here. And if you click the uh, UI preview, hit apply, then uh, you will warning that you gotta, you gotta restart. So I'm gonna do that, hit okay. And let me just close down Fusion here. And then restart Fusion up. A few moments later. There it is. Now, it doesn't look that bad, right? Well, one of the things that have changed is that if you hit the drop down over here, you will see that a couple of things have changed in the naming convention. So we used to over here have model, patch, sheet metal. Well, they have now all been consolidated into the design workspace. And you will see up here that we now have, well, <laughs> patch was renamed surface, thank you, sheet metal, and the other tools are up here in these menus up here. And why, why doing that? Well, I suspect that one of the reasons is that they actually kind of like started thinking about running out of room in here, right? Like as they're adding more and more things in here, this drop down could be a little bit confusing if it gets too much longer. On top of that, you will see that there is a little bit of kind of like intelligence or at least like sense to make these changes. I totally understand that if you're brand new to Fusion and you start learning it, that you get a little overwhelmed that now the interface is changing. I don't blame you for that. But I thought that what we'll do in this quick video is we will model up this uh, AeroPress coffee scoop. Um, if you want more detail on this, um, check out the live stream link below. We did this one, I believe we did it in an absolute beginner live stream. I'll link it in the video uh, below. But we'll do a side by side. So with the new interface and the old interface and kind of like talk through some of the changes. So we already got the new interface loaded up here, right? So let me just uh, minimize that uh, a little bit here. Draw, drag it in like this, get it placed somewhat like that. It's almost about half to my screen. And if I snap my fingers here, then we have the old screen to the right. So new interface on the left, old interface on the right. Okay, let's go through this. So we're gonna start by creating a sketch, just like we normally would. And you will see that though that the icons are a little bit different, the sketch icon is sitting where you would hope it will be right there. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna draw a circle on this top face here. Now, because when we click on that, we're jumping from the solid environment over to the sketch environment. So the sketch have now got its own toolbar up here that have given us some more options and kind of like, it's almost like opening that drawing your tool chest in here. So you could go up and click on this create center diameter. Now where <laughs> that is exposed compared to uh, our old, old interface. But in this case, just to show you our old shortcuts are still working. So if you hit the Z, uh, the C for center, uh, then we can create a center circle here. I'm gonna make this 46. And the, the same thing when I wanna extrude something, 
Q on your keyboard will still bring you from the sketch environment over to over to the solid environment and we can now add some thickness to that there now to move on moving on i'm going to go up and click on the create new sketch icon again i'm going to select on the side face here and again you will see that we're switching from the solid to to the sketch now i'm click on the line tool here and just draw up a line we're gonna make that one 23 over there and if you click the drop downs you will see that they still look very similar to uh, what you see before you're not going to be hunting around for really um, any new functions here so we're going to go down to arc and we have our center point arc right here so like this line like here and draw that out right there and now we have uh, that circle i'm just going to make sure that it's fully defined by hitting d on dimension so again the same kind of commands as is if you're used to to the standard commands now if i want to go over to the solid I can just go over here and click on solid and it'll switch me over there to prove the point again we've gotten more options up here now so the revolve function that i'm looking for is actually now available on the toolbar here click on the profile click on this linear axis to make a rotation hit ok and i got kind of like half of my spoon right here again the menu inside the solid have gotten more space so the shell command is actually also available. Click on that, make that 2.5 on the new interface. Now I'm gonna make the handle. Here's one of my favorite commands. That is the offset command. So I'm gonna click on that. And uh, I am just gonna create a offset from this face here. Let's make it 143. And that comes out to that space. And new sketch. Well, it's still found up here. Click on the new sketch right there i'm gonna hit c for circle and i'm just gonna place a circle somewhere over on this face let's make it 10 in diameter and um, you could find the constraints over over here but now you actually got them right up here but just maybe makes a little bit more sense keeping that sketch palette a little bit less clouded i'm gonna go over and select the horizontal vertical between here and here and D for dimension just to give me that last dimension going across there. Let's make that eight. Q, press pull, drag this one over. And instead of distance, I'm gonna say two object and just select on that face on the body there. And there we go. There is, uh, with the new interface, how you will sketch something up. So I hope this was kind of useful, just a, uh, quick little view into the new interface coming in Fusion. If you're a new user, I don't think you have too much to worry about. I even think if you're finding some of the old videos, I think you can still somewhat navigate through it. I don't think we're gonna run into the big issues there. Thank you, Lanny, for sending me in uh, this request to show that in this video. Again, if you have any ideas, find my email down in the description area. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, <laughs> be honest, thumbs down. And until the next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much. Take care, folks.